Now I want you guys to look at this drawing I made. You think I drew all that? No freaking way. My main secret to making art is by being a lazy artist. Exhibit A. Like look at this drawing I made last month. You think I drew all that? No freaking way. Just from the dress alone, the glasses, bro I did not draw all that. I just used brushes. And it's not called cheating, okay? It's just called working smart. So my first secret is using free assets. Look at the little strawberries that look so detailed. Nope, it's just a brush. Wow, the glasses look so round and perfect. Nope, just a 3D model. And the petals are so cute. Nope, again, just a brush. Wow, the cake is so... Nah, I actually did draw this one. Ahem, <clears throat> anyway. My point is, don't be stupid. Use assets. For example, this tool is called Enclose and Fill. It's a free tool. Literally just select the object you want to fill and then bam, instantly fill. I used this baby 24-7, bro. Another one of my favorites is this this chain brush. Guys, I am a lazy ass biatch, okay? I never ever draw jewelry. It is literally all just this brush right here. It's also free. Literally everything in here is free and it's on Clip Studio Paint. Anyway, I'm gonna link everything below. Another one is this lace brush. Look at my drawing right here. Zam, look at the details on that. Oh wait, it's just the chain brush. Whoa, look at the laces. People ask, Pulin, did that take you three days to draw? Just kidding, no one asked that. But but nope, it took me 10 seconds, baby. Why the absolute heck would I draw laces when there is a lace brush? Guys, don't be stupid. Now, I may draw on Procreate occasionally. However, Clip Studio Paint is my number one baby. That's mainly because they have so many brushes available for free. And people are gonna tell me, um, actually, you can only do that because you use Clip Studio Paint. Shut the heck up, bro. All you little uncultured swines, just find all your information on TikTok. Talk. It's ruining your head. I sound boomer af, but it's true. You know what you literally have to do? Open up Chrome and then boom, Google. See, back in my day, we had to type for information. It doesn't get handed to you, unlike TikTok. All you gotta do is type in free Procreate brushes and then bam, look at all these free brushes. Or heck, you could just go to procreate.com and scroll all the way to the bottom and look at that. Resources. Just click it real quick and then boom. This is all the really good and juicy stuff you want. Thank me later. Now some people are gonna say, um, actually, I don't draw on Clip Studio or Procreate because I'm broke. I draw on this free app called Ibis Paint. Okay, poor people, I got you. When you're on Ibis Paint, just click the brush icon and then over here, just click online. This is gonna take you to their asset store, I think. We got here some free brushes, cloud brush, leaves brush, feet brush, anything you want. And if you want something specific, just look it up on their search bar. Now I looked up chain brush and then Shazam, look at that beautiful chain brush. Now some people may say, um, actually this isn't gonna help me because I draw on paper. Well too freaking bad, I can't help you. Go watch a Bob Ross tutorial or something, just kidding. Uh, what about buy stuff? Oh yeah, it's gonna be freaking expensive since you're buying tools. Honestly, that's the main reason why I switched to digital art because I used to be super broke and digital art was the better option. Okay, no, but seriously though, I'm not the right person for this. Go and ask Picasso or something. I truly do not know. This is a reminder to use assets as much as possible. Instead of drawing backgrounds, consider using free stock photos like what I did with this one. Just go to pexels.com. This is the stock photo I used from Pexels and I literally just blurred it. Or if you're extra, you can use 3D backgrounds. If you're wondering how webtoon artists do backgrounds, they literally don't. They just use 3D models. For example, Akon 3D has a lot of really good 3D models. This is an apartment model I got. I will link the site below. Anyway, moving on. Now I'm gonna teach you how I spice things up when I'm searching for references for my studies. So people keep asking me, Pauline, where do you find your references? The answer is always Pinterest or TikTok thirst trappers, okay? First off, go on Pinterest and look up blank art tutorial. For example, I typed in lighting tutorial digital art and look at these crazy results. This method is how I usually get my references. It doesn't even 
doesn't have to be digital art. Let's look up hands tutorial real quick. And then Shazam! Look at that. What about face tutorial? Bam! You could even look up feet and volume. Look at that. Smegsy feet. Look at this one. How do they even draw the feet so well, bro? Like, look at the shapes and crevices. The design is very human. Trying to draw feet good but not so good people think you're into it. Lol. What if I am into it? So yeah, there are a lot of feet references on Pinterest in case you were wondering. Bro, I did not know Pinterest was that kinky. When most people use Pinterest, they go up and search male pose reference or something. And the results are gonna be something like this. Don't get me wrong, this is okay and all. But if you really want spicy results, go look up cologne ads men. Or literally any other accessory like jewelry or hats. For me, I looked up cologne. And Shazam, look at these results. This gives you two things. Number one, hot men. Number two, look at the friggin' composition of this. Looks amazing and full of life. He is staring intently into your soul. So the next time you want to find references, go on Pinterest. Hold up, hold up. Before we proceed, hey baby girl, it's Cooling from the future. In case you guys did not know, my merch is still ongoing. Look at how cool the design is. I know you guys don't go outside, but it's so cool wearing it outside. You guys want to support this channel and show that you are a Cooling fan. Head on over to fanjoy.co slash cooling. Anyway, go to this link. So yeah, let's proceed to our video. Now I'll teach you how I color. My drawing programs are linked in the description. So I'm gonna make y'all a little sheet sheet on how I color. First, we got the blushies. You wanna put the blushies right here. Then the shading. You wanna put the shading right here. Then the highlights, which will be right here. Honestly, guys, this looks like a makeup tutorial. You can literally use this to put on makeup. Anyway, so I got this drawing right here. Feel free to practice on this liner. Just screenshot it real quick let's apply what i just said okay first i put the base color the first thing is the blushies use an airbrush for the blushies okay if not you will die just put it around the cheeks the eyes nose and lips done then you need a brush like this you don't really have to download anything it's just a basic round brush bro you want to shade it like this in the eye part then a triangle for the nose and all over the neck like this don't forget the under eyes just soften it with an airbrush just so it doesn't look musty as heck. Lastly, let's add the highlights. Let's put it on the corner of the eyes, then around the nose. It kind of has a C shape. Then on the lips. Now, obviously, this looks like crap. So you just want to use the airbrush again to blend. Right. So all that's left is to add the juicy lips and add the eye color. Last tip, you want to add a hint of blue in the shadow. Just airbrush it to spread it around. It's basically like the reflection of the sky, I think. Like reflecting in the skin. Here is the final result. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Watch this next and I'll see you there. Stay cool.